Hey people, in this tutorial we'll be making another procedural HDRI. This one's going to be a basic window lighting setup. Um, I just have this simple scene right here, just uh, a few spheres of different materials, and we're not going to need any lights, so you can delete any lights in your scene. Go over to your shading workspace up here. Make sure you switch from object to world over here. First thing we're going to do is click on background and press Control T. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed, it'll add uh, the texture coordinate and the mapping. Then we'll add a uh, separate XYZ. And a mix RGB. We're gonna connect Z into factor and change the first one to black, the second one to white. We're going to plug it in right here. So now we have a gradient, but what I want is a light in the middle and black on the, the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is add a color ramp right here, and I'm going to grab the white flag, change the value to 0.5. I'm going to add another flag, bring it all the way over to the side, and turn it to black. As you can see, we have black on the bottom and the top now, but we want white to be in the very middle, so we just have to change location right here to 0.5. So now it's just a ring in the center. Next, we're going to add a math node. Change this to greater than. I'm going to put it right here, right after the color ramp, and that will make uh, the edges hard instead of a, like a gradient can leave that at 0.5 for now. So now that we have this white strip in the middle, we're going to make it so the windows occupy the space in white and the black areas are just going to be blank. So we can get started on our windows now. I'm going to add a gradient texture. Plug in this texture coordinate and set this to radial. I'm just going to sh uh, shift control click on this so we can preview it. This is what the radial texture looks like, radial gradient. I'm going to add a math node, change this to multiply, I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to change this to fraction. And so what this will do will basically duplicate our radial gradient by whatever number is right here. So if we set it to one, there's one, we set it to two, there are two, set it to four, so on, so on. But I don't want it to gradate like this. I want it to be uh, like a crisp edge. So I'm going to add a map range. And if you're using 2.82, you can set this from linear to stepped linear. And it'll make it hard, have hard edges like this, but I want to set it to one instead. So it's just black and white and no gray values. And so now, as you can see, there are four white areas right here. And that matches the value uh, in our multiply node. And so now that we have this, we can plug this into the white portion here and hook our background back up. And this is what we're left with. Basically, it's the intersection of uh, these two textures right here. And so if you want to change the number of windows you have, you can mess with this value right here. If you want to change the width of the windows, you can change the from, from min value. And if you want to change the height, you can change the scale over here. This is also an easy way to make a three-point lighting setup where all of the lights are the same brightness. And that's all there is to it. If you want to recommend a topic for a new video, leave a comment below. And if you found this helpful, do me a favor and share this video. It'll help me out a bunch. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.